Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we have got the Making Millions series. This is episode 4 and I really have to thank you guys so, so much for the support on the previous episode where I showed you exactly how I use this method that I'm about to use in this video to make some coins and that video went down a storm. Over 800 likes, so I am so genuinely grateful and I'm so pleased that this is helping you guys make some coins. All the comments are absolutely awesome, so thank you so much for all the likes and the comments and everything. I really appreciate that. If you'd like to get some coins because you're not too good at trading, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a fantastic website that's fully automated, which means you get your coins instantly, and we have a code called Toby10 to get you some discount, which is superb. So we're going to start this off by picking up a Cavani for 7.6 and going to sell them on for 8.3. It's not a huge profit, but it's going to be a little bit just to just to start us off, and then we go and pick up a young for 4.4k. And this one, this one's a little bit better. So this one we're gonna try and sell him on for a fairly reasonable profit of around about 6.2k. So it's about 1.8k after tax. Giovanni sells really, really quickly. Well, that was genuinely instant, which is always what you want. Like it's always great when things sell as quickly as possible. And then we do manage to sell the young. I think I had to drop his price a little bit, but nonetheless, still a fairly decent profit. This one was probably one of the best deals of the episode. A Griezmann for 5.7k, and that is a really, really solid deal. Now, I will have to mention, this episode, I actually genuinely struggled last night to get some deals. I found it so, so tough. It just wasn't happening, but this one was probably one of my best ones. Pick it up 5.7, we're gonna try and sell him on for 8.4, I believe and that actually sold literally straight away. So I was really chuffed with that. I might have been able to get even a little bit more, but nonetheless, that is a cracking profit for such a quick amount of time. That was genuinely so, so fast. I was really, really pleased. But like I was saying, I found it genuinely really difficult. I think I might have to start making a new trading method. Not because it's like overused since I explained it, because I don't think that's why. I think it's because for the amount of coins we have, and we're closing in now on around about 30,000 coins, I think we need something that's a bit more efficient and it's gonna build up bigger profits. So we've got Pedro there, and we get an Ericsson here for 5.2k, and we're gonna try and list him up for a little bit more because he's in a left forward position. And to get players in that position, you obviously have to spend coins, so he has been modified a lot like he's got the hunter card on him he's also got the left forward position change and to get to left forward from left mid which i think ericsson is you have to go to left wing and then left forward so i'm gonna stand up for 6.6 .6 or 6.4 even and see if we can get a bit of profit because the cheapest was actually 6k but i knew that i could get a little bit extra simply because he was in a left forward position now this one this one was really really weird there wasn't a single card of less dean with a hand card on, on the market at all. So mine was the only one. So I kind of had a choice of if I should bid on him or not. And I, I chose to go for him because he's a fairly decent player, good league, good nation, and he's pacey. So I thought, I'm gonna try it. I tried to list him up for 3.9K, which was probably a bit too much, a fairly big ask there. And we're gonna try and pick up a Yesa Rodriguez for 3.7K and we managed to win the bid, which is actually pretty decent. So we're gonna list him up for a little bit. But the thing that I found was I couldn't find the start price that was decent on any of the players. Like a lot of them were starting at pretty much what they go for, but we're gonna try and get about a K profit out of him. And then we pick up a Shakiri. This one wasn't too bad at all. We pick him up for 4.2 and we're gonna try and list him up for about 5.6, which again, it's not like the craziest amount of profit, but it is still profit. That's what you guys got to look at. Like, it's not the amount that you get and don't expect to get like thousands and thousands and like 50k in one night because that's not what these methods do. That's not what I found and that's not what I do personally. It's little bits and a lot of them. Like, if you have a lot of time, I think I spent maybe, I'd say, three hours doing this. And for what we get, it's not bad at all. So, I reckon you guys can do exactly the same. Lestine did sell and Pedro did sell. We did have to drop down the Lestine to 3.2 instead of 3.9, but Pedro took absolutely ages to sell. Tried it overnight, wouldn't work. Finally, in the morning, it did. And yesterday, Rodriguez, 
finally sold for 4.7. I think that means like someone quick sold him as well, which I don't quite understand. But nonetheless, for this episode, we got 7.5k profit, which isn't as good as last episode, but it's still a decent profit. And this is proof because a lot of people are saying in the previous episode, thanks for ruining the method or thanks for showing people now it won't work. It does still work. You can genuinely still make coins. Yes, sometimes you may get outbid, but this is proof because I did this last night that you can still make money using the method that I showed you. So if you haven't seen the method already, go back one video in this playlist and have a little learn and a bit of a watch. But I hope you have enjoyed the series. The support on this one is incredible. So thank you so, so much. I really, really cannot thank you guys enough. But take care. Have an amazing day and goodbye.